Hey there, Aquarius. Thank you guys for stopping by. We're doing a general reading for February 2022. Not all of these messages will resonate with you, Aquarius. So take what does resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Really appreciate it. it helps support the channel. Let's jump right in. What's going on with Aquarius spirit? Messages of light and love for Aquarius. We have the creator. Wow. Some of you are coming into some kind of awareness about your light, your chakra system. Understanding how you can manifest your own reality. Let's see what else? Some of you have a new project coming in that you're excited about. Something that... Something new and interesting. Existence. Questioning why you're here and the purpose of being on this earth. These are deep questions that you're starting to ask yourself. Knowing you have a divine purpose for being here. We have seven politics. Some of you are having to play, play the game, but feeling disconnected, um, like wearing a mask of some kind. Having to play a part, play a role in some kind of way that's not in alignment with who you truly are, Aquarius. Let's see what else we get from the tarot. This is just really feeling, <clears throat> feeling Aquarius, like you're really wanting to come into alignment with who you truly are. And any kind of time you devote to, like a relationship, to a job, to a you're, you're starting to question whether or not it aligns with what you, who you are. If you feel like you have to fake something, you know that it's not for you. Why? Tell me more, Spirit. What's going on with Aquarius? We have the moon. Pisces energy. Some of you are having some kind of new awareness coming in. An opening of your subconscious. Something that has been hidden is coming to light. And it's not that it's like, I feel like this is more spiritual than anything else. What else, spirit? We have a nine of pentacles, being happy on your own. Understanding that happiness is inside of you and being really okay with that. Many of you may have gone through a breakup or you're in some kind of a period where you're on your own. We have a three of wands. So some of you have put your feelers out there in terms of a new job or um, I, I just feel like there's something going on behind the scenes that you're starting to change, whether that's a new job, whether that's a, I think you may have like applied for a job or you're thinking about what you can do to replace something in your life that is not aligning with what you want. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is all about planting a seed of some kind and waiting for it to bloom. Ace of Cups, brand new energy here. Something passionate, exciting, a project perhaps. We have a Six of Wands. This is a feeling of power and happiness. Um, feeling confident that these choices that you're starting to make feel better to you. It's it's like you're you're getting excited about life again. We have Page of Cups. Many of you, um, it's just this youthful feeling of excitement. Possibly even offering your cup of love to someone special. So let's get some additional clarity here. Tell me, Spirit, help me clarify this reading for Aquarius. I do feel like some of you here have moved into this independent single energy away from somebody who may have been a little bit too dependent on you for their needs. And so there's this feeling of release, of being okay on your own here. Why is the moon card here, Spirit? Whoa, that one wanted to come out. We have the Magician. Divine Masculine Energy. Or th this is all about, and this aligns with the Creator card. 
manifesting your new reality. I think some of you here are discovering meditation and visualizing what it is that you want for your life, who it is that you want in your life, the types of jobs you want, the type of house you want. So you have a Ten of Swords here. Someone in your past has betrayed you. Could be this divine masculine energy that has betrayed you. Put yourself in the storyline, how it fits for you, or if it doesn't fit, then don't. Page of Cups, we have it twice now. Page of Cups. So some of you may have a child with this past person. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces child for some of you. Um, but this could also be just a youthful energy that you want to identify with. You want to be in this happier, creative, excited, youthful type of energy. And whoever it was that was in your past here was really preventing you from doing that. <clears throat> You're in a very high vibration, Aquarius. This is all about like owning your own happiness. Um, despite being stabbed in the back here, Aquarius, you have really risen up above it. It's like you're leveling up. Why is this nine of pentacles here, spirit? This is you and you alone creating a new life for yourself into existence. One that's very abundant. Look at that. We have ace of cups. Some of you coming into alignment with a new love interest, but not giving up your independence to do that. Ten of wands. You will never put yourself again in this situation where um, this person from your past here, they were very, it was like a drudgery. Everything you did was not good enough or required a lot of argument or discussion. It was just, it's like you're walking through muddy water. That is no longer the case. It came in reverse. This person from your past really put you through this kind of headache and it may have been for a while. Five of Cups, they may have left you in a depression state or they could have had depression that was really rubbing off on you as well. They may have not been taking the steps to take care of themselves. Um, so it's like you're, the farther you get away from this person, the more light and excited you feel about creating your new life. <laughs> this reading is really awesome. Yeah, I do feel like this person's energy was really attached to you, Aquarius. Their lower vibration really kept you from, you know, being successful or like, not that you weren't being successful, just I feel like you're, this achieving what you want in life is going to be a bit easier because you're, whoever this was that was from your past was really bringing you down, Aquarius. Now you're just really rising up. Why is this three of wands here? <clears throat> you guys know how to play the game, Aquarius. Look at you, ten of pentacles. And then we this three of wands waiting on something. So I feel like some of you here have, have really learned how to conduct yourself in business very well. Politics, You've some of you are moving away from something that doesn't align with you. But some of you here have really learned how to play the part. You know or have experience like socially... Um, with bringing business in the door, knowing how to conduct yourself with other people. So I feel like some of you, did you put in a place, a bid in for a job of some kind um, that you're really <clears throat> working it with your personality and your connections. And it, it's just like you're, you're using more of your sales side of yourself to produce some really amazing income that's coming in. Ten of Pentacles. This is like the most abundant financial gift here a contract of some kind this is really awesome you're waiting on it it may have not arrived yet but i think you put your feelers out um and this three of wands talks about your ships are coming in that's what this card means this is exciting aquarius wow i got goosebumps this is awesome we have the eight of one of eight of pentacles yeah this is a work-related situation, something that you're very motivated to, to work on, and it's bringing that money in the door. Look at that. Wow. You just, you've learned how to really carry yourself, Aquarius. You know how to talk to people. You know how to make them feel 
um, like you're the one for the job. We have a king of wands. Some of you connecting with this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is all about an energy of taking action. A king of wands is someone who um, is confident. They feel good about themselves. It's like, I, I feel like you feel great about yourself inside Aquarius and it starts to manifest a new reality on the outside. That's exactly what's ha happening here. You're taking some kind of action. You're putting yourself out there. Um, you may, like, I feel like maybe it's possible that you in your past may have been a little bit shy about putting yourself out there in some way. Now you've gained some kind of new perspective. You've had optimum and you know experience dealing with different types of personalities it's just like you're more outgoing and ready to make a mark for yourself it's like you're totally le leveling up here Aquarius this is a really a really abundant reading um, and I know you feel it you believe that it's coming in this ace of cups we have it twice okay this page of cups we have it twice many of you have like I feel like many of you have like put your, it's like you put your feelers out there or you're making connections, networking with different people. And it's like, it doesn't feel like a ton of work for you to bring this new like opportunity in the door. Hmm. Something here is, is really exciting. Um, so you'll have to fill me in Aquarius on what this is. Um, super excited for you because you're, you're manifesting long-term financial abundance. Um, and it's all coming from this confidence that you're, you're putting out there to the world. Um, it's really drawing in for you new opportunities. And um, yeah, I can just feel you and I, we are both feeling it right now. We both know this is happening for you. Um, hit that like button if it resonated for you guys. I appreciate you all. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.